Ever thought about giving your DNA a little makeover? Imagine being able to tweak those genes like you're customizing your own character in a video game. We're talking about editing the instruction manual of life itself. What if we could fix those faulty genetic typos, or maybe add a few bonus features? Join us as we dive into the fascinating world of gene editing, where science meets sci-fi, and things get seriously interesting. It's a whole new era where possibilities are mind-boggling, the debates are heated, and the question on everyone's mind is, are we ready for a biological revolution? Let's find out. Let's rewind the clock a bit and talk about how this whole gene editing quest got started. Back in 1973, biochemists Herbert Boyer and Stanley Cohen rocked the scientific world by developing genetic engineering. They developed genetic engineering by inserting DNA from one bacteria into another and just like that, the foundation of a scientific breakthrough was laid. Fast forward to the rise of genetically modified organisms, or GMOs for short. Picture this, scientists were like molecular chefs, cooking up GMOs by revamping the genes of crops and critters. Now, GMOs weren't just a lab experiment. You've probably munched on some without even knowing it. Picture this, crops that can resist pests or grow in harsh conditions. Think about those plump tomatoes that seem to last forever, some of them might be GMOs. They were engineered to resist pests or survive harsh weather conditions. Take BT cotton, for instance. It's like regular cotton but with a built-in bug repellent. Farmers love it because it means fewer pesticides and more money. And it's not just in the fields. Have you ever heard of insulin? The hormone that keeps a check on glucose levels in our blood. We used to get it from pigs and cows, but we can produce it in bacteria thanks to genetic engineering. Efficient, right. But not everyone is loving this change. Some folks worry about the environmental impact and the potential unknown consequences of messing with mother nature. Others are concerned about big corporations controlling our food supply through patented genetically modified seeds. On one side, we've got crops saving the day, insulin in a lab, and a group of individuals waving caution flags. How about exploring a true marvel of molecular biology? Back in the day, some scientists were researching the bacterial immune system. Yeah, bacteria have an immune system too, who knew? In the mid-2010s, the genius duo, Jennifer Doudna and Emmanuel Charpentier cracked the code and unveiled CRISPR, Cas9 to the world. They came up with this mind-blowing idea, what if we could use this bacterial defense system to edit genes? And bam, CRISPR, Cas9 is born. This discovery was so fascinating that it earned them a Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 2020. Now, let's break down the science of this powerhouse technology. We've got two molecular superheroes leading the charge, CRISPR and Cas9. CRISPR might sound like a secret code, but it's short for clustered regularly interspaced short palindromic repeats. It's made up of those DNA fragments that are regularly spaced out in our genomic DNA. Think of them as biological bookmarks, pointing the way to specific spots in our genetic code. Now, meet Cas9, the protein psychic that teams up with the CRISPR sequence. What is Cas9? It's basically a molecule that governs the changes that are to be made in the genome sequence, it is accompanied by RNA. RNA is just a guide that tells Cas9 where to go and make those changes. Now, let's talk mechanics. CRISPR is like the GPS of the gene editing world, guiding the molecular scissors, Cas9, to the exact spot in our DNA that needs a makeover. It's like precision surgery but on a microscopic level. Instead of awkwardly fumbling around, CRISPR, Cas9 knows exactly where to snip and clip. Think of it like a find and replace tool in your word processor but for genes. It's the ultimate copy-paste for DNA, allowing scientists to add, delete, or swap out specific genes with unprecedented accuracy. When we say it's a revolutionary technology, we're not just throwing around buzzwords. CRISPR, Cas9 is a real game-changer with some jaw-dropping benefits. Let's start with the medical front, where it's rewriting the rules of disease treatment. Picture CRISPR, Cas9 as the precision surgeon of the gene world, tackling serious genetic disorders like sickle cell anemia and cystic fibrosis. Now, even in the battle against cancer, CRISPR can be our secret weapon, with researchers exploring its potential to target and kill cancer cells. It's not just a treatment, it's an editing process, cleaning up the bad code in our genetic software. Remember that futuristic health pod in Elysium? 
Well, CRISPR might just be the real-life version, curing diseases in a flash. But it's not just about fixing us humans. CRISPR is on a mission to transform agriculture. Imagine crops as resilient warriors, fighting off pests without the need for chemical warfare. In 2018, the U.S. Department of Agriculture gave the thumbs up to CRISPR-edited mushrooms that resist browning, giving us produce that stays fresh for longer. And hold on because we're talking about a world where mosquitoes aren't disease carriers. Scientists are trying CRISPR to modify mosquitoes, making them incapable of spreading diseases like malaria. Say goodbye to worrying about a tiny insect spoiling your vacation or posing a threat to public health. Now, let's discuss a potential game-changer for organ transplants. CRISPR, Cas9 might just be the hero in solving the organ shortage crisis. Picture this, scientists editing pig organs to make them compatible with humans. It's like having a backup plan for when our body parts decide to go on strike. Now, let's flip the CRISPR coin and look at the dark side. While CRISPR, Cas9 is like the superhero of gene editing, it's got its own set of dark corners that make you question if we're playing with fire. Then there's the whole issue of unintended consequences. Messing with genes isn't foolproof. What if we edit something thinking we're fixing it, but end up creating a whole new set of problems? It's like trying to do DIY repairs on your computer and accidentally deleting the entire hard drive. Remember the chaos in Jurassic Park or the mayhem in Rampage? Malevolent mutations causing untold damage, it's the stuff of nightmares, right? Now, we are not saying we're on the brink of a Dino disaster, but the unknowns are a bit disturbing. And hold onto your hats, because that playing God card gets thrown around a lot. Some people argue that we're venturing into territory where we shouldn't be meddling. Nature does its thing, right? Do we really want to be the architects of our own biology? And here's the kicker, mess too much with our genes, and we might be stirring up trouble with mother nature. Nature's got its own rules, and if we start deleting and tweaking genes like we're editing a document, who knows what kind of ecological ripple effect we might set off. Now, if gene editing becomes a thing, who gets to access it? Will it be confined to first world countries and create a whole new socio-economic crisis or will it be used for the good of all humankind? Let's talk about designer babies. Yeah, you heard it right. With gene editing, we're not just fixing stuff anymore, we're talking about picking and choosing traits for our future mini-humans. Think about customizing eye colors, boosting IQs, or even selecting the perfect pitch for your kid's future Grammy-winning voice. Sounds like a sci-fi dream, but it's knocking on our doorstep. But are we heading into a future where only the rich can afford genetic upgrades, creating a new kind of genetic class divide? Then there's the shadowy side of gene editing. What if some evil heads get their hands on CRISPR? We could be looking at a whole new level of bioweapons, a dark world where gene editing isn't used for good but for a world-ending apocalypse. It's like having a superpower, amazing in the right hands, but a massive threat in the wrong ones. So, as we navigate the CRISPR frontier, it's not just rainbows and sunshine. CRISPR might be revolutionary, but like any powerful tool, it comes with its own set of risks and uncertainties. So, as we navigate the brave new world of gene editing, the big question isn't just about what we can do, it's about what we should do. And there you have it, the fascinating journey into the world of gene editing, from the roots of genetic engineering to the ethical crossroads of CRISPR, Cas9. If you want to learn more about mind-bending science, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. This is Futuristic signing off.